hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make a brighter and fan from the scratch okay like i'm going to show you how to construct your and fan uh, structure and how to embellish it my name is Dolapo. If you're here to join the family, please do so by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss out of any of my tutorials. On this channel, I share DIY videos on headwares and um, something like what you're seeing right now and others. Now, I'm going to start by introducing you to some of the materials I use. This black thing you're seeing is called Marco and it is sold by those who make bags and shoes or those who sell bags and shoe making materials i prefer to use this very well because it's kind of waterproof and then uh, you know it's actually okay for this the thickness is um, the second to the thickest i have some trimmings like this i have two different types i have hue gum or hue tree glue you can use um, the hot glue instead i have needle matching color or thread and needle i have my feathers and i used about um, two and half yet in this video or for this project i have this material to you know line with and i have this cane yes so make sure you watch to the end of this video to see i'm going to construct and do my structure what i'll be using the cane for now starting with my marker i have 12 inches width by nine inches nine inches length so i'm just starting from one corner as you can see i just measured about two inches in and do a curve and do the same on this other side and then i'll just um, shape out the base of my hand fan Okay, after sketching the shape of what I want, I just went ahead to cut cut it out like this, and then and then we we'll proceed to the next step. Now I have my cane, and I'm going to measure about nine inches, which is going to be enough for me to uh, make the handle of the fan. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to use that to. I mean, I'll use that for that part and I kept it aside. So now I want to cover up the marker with the color of the feather so that um, it, will, it will cover, I mean, it won't be seen the marker from the outside just in case we have any available space, okay? Well, after we're done, all right? The background there, the, the material here just give it like something like a background, all right? So I'll just give it an extra allowance like this. I give it about one inch or half an inch allowance. I do the same like that here, and I'm going to cut it out. So I'll be cutting this in two places. I'll do this in two places. Okay, I have the background cut out and I'm going to use that to cover the macro like this using my UHG glue. You can use your alt glue to do this. I prefer or I use UHG glue all through this video because I always prefer it. Alt glue works as well but it has a limitation or a disadvantage. If whatever you make with alt glue is being placed under the sun or you find yourself under the sun, it will melt, hot glue will melt and everything will disengage. So I always try to be on the safe side by using hue gum. Alright, so I'm just notching on this part so that it will relax well while I'm taking it over the marker. Alright, so I'm going to go going to notch and then I'll fold like that over the marker.
Okay, so see what I've got. I'm going to turn it the other way around and do the same to cover the other side. Just the same way, okay? Okay, so it has been laid properly on the marker. And then we'll proceed to cover up the small piece of cane. All right, I'll use the same fabric to cover it up so it's to blend well with the color of the feather. So using my glue, I'll just go ahead and do it this way. That's uh, we'll proceed to the next, and then we'll proceed to the next step. Okay, so I just apply glue on the cane and then allow it dry. You to please end time you're using EU gum or heel glue. Please make sure that you allow hair blow in. Blow air or allow hair blow in and then you wait. I mean then before you go ahead and then stick it to wherever you want to stick it to, okay? That way your um your product will last very very long. I've just wrapped it, I've wrapped the fabric on the cane to cover it up like this now I'm going to pick up this type of trimmings that I have and I'll use that to wrap the handle Okay, the, the cane that we wrapped to the fabric is going to be serving as the handle of the hand fan, okay? So I'll just go ahead and then wrap it up with um, YouTube glue. Okay, you could actually get a brighter hand fan structure from a carpenter or somewhere around. You can hack around where you can get, but this is for a situation whereby you are able to lay your hands on the structure and you needed to do your job. I had this job and it was at a matter of urgency. So I need to just go through this procedure and I really found it very interesting, okay? Reason why I, you know, want to show you guys how you can do yours as well, okay? So I just use my trim to cover up the handle of the hand fan with my HU or my UHUB. So the handle is ready and I just kept that aside for me to proceed. So I'll be doing this next, like I'm attaching the feather onto the base, okay? And I'll be doing that with my glue as well. You can use your hot glue, like I said earlier, but um, I feel it's safer to use your glue. So I'll just go ahead and apply my glue and I'll cover up the, f I mean, the base with the feathers the way I want it, you know, just to create what I have in my head. Okay, so you can see that I've attached the first layer of the feather on it. And you know the way I attach, I attach it a little bit um, um, towards the edge of the base, so at so that the hand fan will be bold enough, you know, big enough. All right. I'll just come over to the other or the other side. I'll just come over to the other side, apply glue like that, and continue to attach the feather without cutting it. So I have the first layer on both the fronts, 
and at the back okay that was why i didn't bother to cut it so if at any point your feather finishes just go ahead and continue attaching from that point okay so this is what exactly what i did you finish at this point and attach another feather to proceed so i have one layer in front and one layer at the back okay so i'm attaching the second layer now and i will just cut off the excess on the first layer all right so that um, it will be well defined so i just go ahead and attach the second layer to the fan piece Okay, so I'll be attaching the second line, second line like this. Okay, I'll do this on the front and I'll proceed like that to the back. Okay, so I have the two layers of feathers attached and then um, I'm just going to use trimmers or uh, haplics or uh, accessories to cover the center part of the hand fan. So I would like you to please watch the video to the end so that you, you see I'm going to finish up this part and also attach the handle of the hand fan. I hope you're enjoying this video. Also give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and share with someone you feel might need this. Thank you so much, okay? okay so for the embellishments like i used to say it all depends on what you have or what your client wants or what you want to have all right so um you could use stones you could use um different kind of accessories you know appliques and all that so i'm done at this point and i need to attach the handle to the hand fan so i'm just going to go ahead and attach it right now like this okay so i'm attaching the undo right now and um, i'll be using both glue and the um, needle and thread it's better that way so that it doesn't get um, pulled off later or while it's being in use i'm passing the needle through the trim is i have there even down through the marker the marker is sewable all right so i'll just go ahead and tack the way i know i can maybe on two different points and i'll use glue for the remaining part all right Please follow me on my social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, on Trends, and even Pinterest at Dolibu. Please also check my description box below for details of uh, other tutorials, or you can even find um, useful information in the description box.
Okay, so I'm done with the creation of the spider and fan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and turn on your notification or hit the bell icon to turn on your notification so you don't miss out of any of my tutorials and then um, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.